Yes, indeedy. It is another gorgeous day in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We've been blessed with some awesome weather. I'm even wearing shorts. I packed them all away because it was so damn cold about a week ago. But here we are. I'm definitely not complaining. I love beautiful weather. It means that I can drive my baby here and not have her sit in the garage. But now, first things first, before we start off today's video, I wanna talk about this. I have an iPhone. What I hate though is most of the cases that are available for the iPhone. I like thin cases because the phone is so damn big. I got a 7 Plus. And what I have here is a carbon fiber case. I've kind of ruined the look a little bit because I put one of these stupid magnet thingies on here so my phone doesn't fly around in the car. But anyway, good friends of mine have a company called Exotic Carbon and they have awesome phone cases. So this is a gloss black carbon fiber case for, in my case, an iPhone 7 Plus. We have red carbon fiber cases as well. And then we have my favorite, the matte black. It's also available to pre-order for the iPhone 10. Now these are awesome. It's real carbon fiber, they're real thin, and it makes your already big phone not feel like more of a brick in your pocket. So why am I telling you all this? I don't really do a lot of sponsored content on this channel, but as I mentioned, they are good friends of mine who uh, make these phone cases. I use them myself, I've been using it for months now. I love it. So all you gotta do is go to exoticcarbon.com, pick out the case that you want. By the way, you can also pick up screen protectors. Absolutely awesome. Have them shipped to your door and get 20% off if you use the promo code AUTOBLOCK. Now, I just got a text message from one of my buddies at my old place of work, Moon Township Ford, that I got a package there, which I find extremely odd because uh, my PO box address is not Moon Township Ford. <laughs> so there must be some kind of weird mix up. We're gonna go there, pick it up and see what it is. And then we're gonna continue on with our day. 5,652 miles on the beast already, by the way. Damn, I drive this thing a lot. I forgot my car keys. <laughs> Wow, this day is starting off kind of weird. Let her rip. So I'm here at Mim Township Ford. I picked up my little package. It was actually business cards. I used to always send my business cards when I worked here, obviously to my work location. Now these are just cards from my YouTube channel. So that's why I came here, but I spotted this and this is obviously going to be a future video very, very soon that's coming up. And it is a 2018 brand new Ford Expedition Platinum completely redesigned we're just gonna do a quick walk around here I shot this uh, SUV quickly at uh, the Pittsburgh International Auto Show that was in February um, I couldn't actually get inside the car at the time but give you guys a little sneak peek here look at this beautiful interior this is the Nirvana leather everything is completely redesigned we have a rotary shift dial now as well. It was first introduced for the Fusions. And it's just a gigantic SUV. Very nice looking. This is the top of the line one. It's over $80,000. So uh, yeah, that's a topic in itself. A Ford for over $80,000. And it's not a decked out Raptor or anything like that. It's the new luxury SUV no longer called the el it's now called the max when it's the extended version the long one 
so very very nice most likely re reviewing that tomorrow now so after seeing the Ford Expedition we're gonna take a trip to South Hills Lincoln and see if they got a new Lincoln Navigator in, which is the even more luxurious cousin or brother or sister or whatever you want to call it of the Ford family. A Ford Expedition can cost around $85,000. I wonder what you can buy a Lincoln Navigator for. There it is, the new Navigator. First time I'm seeing it. Yeah, I can tell right away, this one isn't open. But wow, look at that screen in there. Yeah, this is completely different interior. Very nice. Apologize about the wind noise. Look at this big front grill here. Awesome. 22 inch wheels, just like the Expedition, although they're of course different. Same size tire though, 285, 45, 22. Completely redesigned as well. You guys have seen the uh, Expedition already. Here is the Navigator. Which one do you think looks the best? I do like the front of the Navigator better though. It is really nice. Yeah, it's locked, can't get in, but interior completely redesigned as well. Might have to review this also. So what do you guys think? Do you like the Ford or the Lincoln better? Uh, I obviously am going to uh, review both of them. Now I'm gonna go in here and talk to the manager and see when we can set up a Navigator review. I mean, I've done a Continental here and I've done an MKZ here before. Uh, for those of you that are OG subscribers, that was a little while ago, but hopefully we can get it done here soon. All right, so we just left South Hills Lincoln. Now, every navigator they have in stock was sold. However, they have one coming in pretty soon that they said that uh, we can definitely do a review on that one. Now, that won't be until mid-December, but at least know that a Navigator review is coming. And now off to a completely different topic. If you guys saw my previous video, which was when I went to Las Vegas for the NHRA in partnership with Pennzoil, uh, you might remember that I put a disclaimer in the video that I wasn't allowed to show any kind of racing footage because Fox owns the broadcasting rights to all the races. So when I was doing the video together with Pennzoil, I wasn't allowed to show it, but it's not gonna stop me from showing it in this video. So I thought I'd show you guys a few clips because that is obviously the most interesting thing to see when it's a video about dragsters. The experience there, as I mentioned in that video, is amazing. I mean, it's almost scary when you're standing that close to those cars. They have 11,000 horsepower and I mean, you just don't know what loud or fast is until you experience 11,000 horsepower uh, pull off the line. It is absolutely insane. Your whole body shakes and it, it feels like your eardrums are literally gonna blow up. I mean, it is so loud. Talk about being straight piped. So if you haven't experienced that, I suggest that you at some point go and do so. Until then, you can watch these clips.
that's pretty amazing, huh? Like I said, if you haven't experienced it in real life before, make sure you do so before your days are over. Now, I thought we'd end this video with a quick mail time here. I got a letter from Mr. Michael Bruderman. Please open and read in your vlog. Thanks. Absolutely. I'm about to do that, Mike. The hell? Oh. <laughs> Sensitive kicking motion there. My name is Mikey. I'm from New York. I love watching your videos. I have always wait for you post notifications. I've been subscribed for at least a year now and you have inspired me to make my own YouTube channel. Man, that's awesome. I am 13 years old. Can you please shout me out? I really want to try to hit 1,000 subscribers by the new year. I think with your help and fans, we can do it. I think I only have like 66 subscribers. My YouTube channel is Mikey Rides. Thanks, Autoblog. Your loyal fan, Mikey. P.S. My dream car is also an AMG C63S with the red interior. Well, that's that's a nice spec. Instagram is MikeyJB4. So everybody, go check Mikey Rides out on YouTube and MikeyJB4 on Instagram and show him some love. Always love helping people out that just started their YouTube channels. Because uh, everyone that has a YouTube channel, whether it's big or small, started out from nothing. So there it is. Thank you so much for your letter, Mikey. I really appreciate it. If anyone out there for whatever reason feel like they want to send me something, the P.O. Box address is. But that's going to do it for this video here. And just so you know, I have a lot of stuff in the pipeline when it comes to reviews. I got some awesome mods planned for the AMG. So there's a lot of stuff coming up on the channel here. As always, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching my videos. And if you're here for the first time and you haven't already and you like what you see, please subscribe and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.